On March 8, 2006, the U.S. Navy, the Missile Defense Agency, and Japan completed the first U.S.-Japan Cooperative Missile Defense Flight Test. The test, referred to as JCTD-1, is a key milestone in the U.S.-Japan Cooperative Research Program. The primary objective of the test was to verify the performance of an advanced clamshell nose cone developed by Japan for SM-3. The advanced nose cone design promises to improve operational performance on future versions of SM-3. Prior to flight testing, a series of static and wind tunnel tests were conducted to verify the clamshell nose cone operation in a stressing aerothermal environment. The JCTV-1 missile is identical to a tactical SM-3 the exception of the nose cone and an instrumentation telemetry package or ITP in place of the kinetic warhead. The ITP has cameras and sensors that will measure temperature and shock during the flight test. The USS Lake Erie was the firing ship. There was no target launch for this test flight. However, a simulated digital target was introduced into the Aegis weapon system to emulate an engagement mission. Just as in a regular flight mission, the Aegis weapon system calculated an intercept solution and launched the missile. The SM-3 flew on nominal trajectory, and airborne cameras observed the missile throughout most of its flight. For this mission, the third-stage rocket motor executed a single pulse burn. After the third-stage rocket motor burned out, the clamshell nose cone was successfully ejected. Cameras in the instrumented test package captured the event from three separate angles. All test data showed nominal performance. This proof of principle test was a validation of the clamshell nose cone design and was a culmination of many years of work. The effort began in 1999 with the signing of the Japan-US Cooperative Research or JCR Memorandum of Understanding. For Japan, it was a major step towards a missile defense capability. For the U.S., it was a major step towards international cooperation in missile defense. The JCR program consisted of four phases. The first phase focused on the requirement analysis and concept exploration. The second phase was focused on concept design and resulted in the SM-3 Block 2A concept, a 21-inch version of SM-3. The third phase of the program focused on component development fourth and final phase involves testing of these components. Four key components were selected for development and testing. In addition to the advanced nose cone, two variants of advanced infrared seekers, advanced divert and attitude control system, and a 21-inch second stage rocket motor. Both the U.S. and Japan developed and tested advanced two-color infrared seeker design. The advanced seekers provide extended acquisition range and added discrimination capability against stressing countermeasures. Japan has the lead for the 21-inch rocket motor research. Significant progress has been made, culminating in a series of ground tests to validate case design and propellant formulations. The 21-inch second stage rocket motor will significantly increase the defended area of SM-3. An advanced throttleable divert and attitude control system was developed and ground tested. The TDAX increases system performance and flexibility. The U.S.-Japan Cooperative Research Program is an excellent example of international missile defense cooperation. The data gathered from this test and others will help validate the SM-3 Block 2A concept and reduce risk. The United States and Japan will utilize this data as they examine the next phase of the program, the SM-3 Block 2A Cooperative Development. The JCR and any follow-on phases will fit in with Japan's existing plan to procure missile defense systems including Aegis BMD and SM-3, building a strong national defense. Aegis Ballistic Missile Defense. The United States and Japan working together towards a common goal, a safer world.